Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber, you may have seen the video I posted last week where I built this. This is a little Eurorack skiff from bit by bit since 42 HP, and it's got a built-in spot for the power supply. Well, as you can see, I decorated it with sort of leaves in this green color because my plan is I wanted to make it into a bioelectric skiff, this battery operated so I could take it out in the forest or whatever and actually you know, clip to, to plants that are in the ground as opposed to potted plants. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna power it. Then in absolutely incredible timing, Racket sent me this. This is their Go Eurorack power supply and it comes with a little bus board here. And this is designed to make a small skiff be portable and battery operated. Let me show you what's in the box here. We've got our manual and then it comes with a USB-C cable there. And then this is the actual module. And then of course there's some mounting screws as well. And this delivers a half an amp of power on the uh, 12 volt rail. So you can see it is very, very small. It's actually two HP. Well, this is gonna be perfect to power this little skiff because it needs something shallow like this and whatnot, except for the fact that the slot is four HP and this is only two HP. So I've got another two HP there. I just built this. This is the head out module from Synthrotech and again, very small, very shallow, and this is actually an output module. It has your inputs up here, line outs here, and headphone out here with separate output for the line and the head headphones. So this is perfect to make it interface with the outside world. The whole idea is I just wanna take this little skiff and the battery, maybe my iPad to use as a recorder, and not have to take a mixer and everything. Okay, so maybe you can just kinda of see I've placed both of those modules in and they, they fit, seem to fit perfectly. And on the inside, the head out is a little bit shallower than the go. So I think that's gonna work out really nice. I think that's about the perfect spot to put them. Uh, real quick, just for everybody's information, if I take my ruler here and I measure the depth, it's about 46 millimeters right there. Now, real quick, if you look at this, let me see if I can get a little closer here. You can see none of these are already have a hole there. If I take this out, you can see there is a hole there, but uh, since it's made for a 4 HP module, it doesn't line up with either one of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold them in this position and mark those four locations and just drill four new holes. I think that's what I'm gonna try. Okay, so there you go. I just drilled four 16th of an inch holes there um, to mount those modules. And then I looked through my box of guitar parts and I found these. These are actually pick guard screws, but if you look here, they actually seem to fit really well through the module. So I'm just gonna try to screw them directly into the wood here and see if that works. But before we do that, we should probably mount the bus board here. So if we flip it over, it comes with these three sticky pads, which are supposed to go on these three locations. So let's do that now. And then we'll place the bus board right here. Just like that. Okay, so that actually worked really nicely. It's solid enough that I can flip the switch on and off. It seems to be pretty well seated. And now let's go ahead and plug in the bus board here before I get the other module in there. There we go. Okay, so there we go. That actually looks pretty nice and seems to be solid enough that I can grab anything and and uh, it's not coming loose or anything. So there we go, that's what the inside looks like, keeping the cables kind of over here to the side. I can obviously mess with that when I get more modules in there, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Okay, here I've got a power bank. This isn't like one that I bought specifically for this purpose, it's just one that I already had. Let me go ahead and plug that in. And if we did that correctly, this should light up. Yay, there we go, all three rails lit up. Good deal, all right. Now we have to make sure to power a module. I know I've got this one in here, but this one doesn't have any lights or anything to show me. So I've got the garden listener module here, which will probably become a fixture in this case since it is gonna be used for bioelectric stuff. Let's go ahead and mount that in the case just to see if it'll work. Okay, so here we go. All right, you can see the light show here indicating the module is on. Very nice, all right. 
Okay, so there you have it, folks. That's the Skiffy 32 from Bit by Bit Synths meets the Go from Racket and the Head Out from Synthrotech. By the way, in case it's uh, it matters to anyone, uh, Racket did send me the Go for evaluation purposes, the Bit by Bit case, and the Synthrotech module I paid for. Um, so if that matters to you, it has been disclosed. But I think this is going to make a really cool skiff when I'm done with it, and undoubtedly the Garden Listener will end up in there. But uh, anyway, give me a month or two to figure out what modules I want here. I'm probably going to have to buy a few, maybe trade a few. I don't know. I'll have to figure all that out. But uh, it's definitely coming. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.